It's early morning on Delaware Bay, and commercial fishing boats are headed out to harvest one of the bay's most important natural resources, the oyster. Oysters were one of the kingpins of the shellfish industry in Delaware Bay. Uh, from the settlers right up through to the early 1900s, like shad and sturgeon roe, oysters were one of the biggest fisheries or shell fisheries in Delaware Bay. Very, very lucrative. The bay's oysters also provided important habitat for other marine creatures, even as the public's appetite for these tasty bivalves prompted their increased harvest. From the late 1890s up to the early 1900s, oysters were like the McDonald's. When you were on your way home from work and wanted a cheap, fast, nutritious meal, fresh oysters were available on almost any street corner in Wilmington, Philadelphia, Camden, throughout the area. Oysters were hugely popular, and Delaware Bay oysters, often called white gold by now wealthy watermen, were shipped to markets all over the country. Between 1880 and about uh, 1920 or 30, between one and two million bushels of oysters were produced in Delaware Bay. Annual harvests this large suggested overfishing, but the industry flourished through the Second World War. However, in the late 50s, MSX, a parasite that attacks maturing oysters, reduced the bay harvest by 97% in three years. In the 70s, just as the bay's oysters were developing resistance to MSX, a new disease appeared, dermo. Dermo thrives in warmer and saltier waters, and with sea level rising, dermo now threatens the bay's oyster stocks. It's very clear uh, uh, from 2004 uh, that unless we did something significant, we were going to lose the fishery and probably a, sust a substantial part of the stock. So we, we began to, uh, to develop a shell planting program. Shell planting involves locating and cleaning vast numbers of clamshells, transporting them on barges to the bay's existing oyster grounds, and distributing the clean shell over large areas of the existing oyster beds. Well, we're putting over clean shell oyster culch to uh, try to improve or enhance oyster spat setting. Commonly called spat, young oysters need to attach to clean shell if they are to successfully grow and mature. By showering clean clam shell over the bay's existing oyster beds, the spat finds suitable habitat to cling to and grow. We're falling behind the barge here, and all the stuff you see coming down here is showing that the bottom is getting filled with hard shell, and it's showered down off the barge onto the bottom of the shell plant area. The, uh, whole equation in our management strategy here that, that we have to be aware of the fact that these bids don't only provide a source of income, economic income to commercial harvesters, it's also very important to the total ecosystem of uh, Delaware Bay. Extremely important, very sensitive uh, fish habitat. To monitor shell planting success, scientists regularly survey the bay's oyster beds, gathering data on new spat setting while using the same harvesting techniques as local watermen. The results have been impressive. Compared to natural shell, planted shell attracts seven times as many spat across all planted sites. And the economic return on the resulting oyster harvest is typically 25 to one. Shell planting is not only restoring critical Delaware Bay habitat, it is very profitable as well. You know, we, we ship our oysters all throughout the country. And, um, and, and, you know, like I said, when we started, we don't have quite as much recognition as other places that have spent a lot of money on marketing, but a lot of times in the summertime, people eat oysters to come from Chesapeake Bay. They think they're eating Chesapeake Bay oysters, but they really all come from here. Uh, it was great for us that we served Delaware Bay oysters in an event earlier, um, just this past fall in October, and we saw that there were clam shells attached to the outside of the oyster shells of the oysters that we were eating. So that's pretty much proof positive that those oysters grew on shell that was planted because it was clam shell. Shell planting of oysters in Delaware Bay is a top priority right now for ecosystem restoration and it fits within what we call the whole watershed shellfish restoration strategy. 
Bivalve mollusks, like oysters, live from the headwaters to the ocean, and every single one of those species helps to filter water and improve water quality, helps to stabilize the sediments, helps to provide essential fish habitat, and every one of them is a good harbinger of water conditions and ecosystem health, and the oyster is the, at the top of that list. The overall goal is that we'd all like to see uh, oyster populations high enough so that the harvesting could support the restoration that's needed to sustain that population. As far as I'm concerned, and, and I think we've proven that through, through, through these last uh, 10 or 15 years, that shell planting and, and, and the, other, the other moving oysters from one place to another, um, you know, that's by far better than anything that I've heard tell of that anybody's come up with as far as managing a fishery. Down in Delaware Bay, we really need to rebuild those oyster reefs. We need to impart those benefits to people. We need to support a lucrative shellfish trade. And the number one way that we can do that is shell planting. It's relatively cheap. And we know that it's a good investment from our, from our past experience with it. We know that there's a great return on it. Uh, but you have to have the money to invest it, and that's where we are now. Delaware Bay's oyster restoration project has proven to be both an economic and ecological success. If this effort can be continued, oysters will not only have a vibrant history, but also a bright future as the foundation for a more sustainable Delaware Bay. <laughs>